In the circuit in the figure 3 below, this circuit, the switch SW has been open for a long time. At t equals 0, the switch closes. All resistances are given in ohms. Write as a function of time for t greater than 0 the current in this inductor and also the energy in this inductor. The first thing we will do is to take a snapshot at the circuit right before the switch operates at t equals 0 minus. The circuit was in TC steady state, so the inductor can be represented as a wire. This is the snapshot. This branch is not there because this switch is still open, and the inductor is represented by this wire. This current here is the initial current in the inductor. IL not and is the current we need to compute. In this case, the computation is simple. This is just a current divider of 3 between 4 and 4. That current is 1.5 amps. That is the first part of the solution. Now, for t greater than 0, we find the 7 and equivalent seen by the inductor. With the switch closed, because it's after t equals 0, the inductor C is all of the circuit, which is represented here. Finding the 7 and equivalent of the circuit is pretty straightforward. The open circuit voltage, which is V7, because the current is 0 in open circuit, the voltage is just the voltage here in this 12 ohm resistor. That is 3 times the parallel of 4 with 12. The open circuit voltage, which is V7, is just 3 times the parallel of 4 and 12, which is 3 ohms, 3 times 3. 9 volts, that is V7. And R7 we can obtain from the kill the sources method. We kill the source and the equivalent resistance is this resistor in series with a parallel of those two, 4 in series with 3, that is 7 ohms. This is the circuit that the inductor sees after T equals 0. In this circuit, the final value of the current in the inductor will be 9 divided by 7. The time constant is L over R, 3.5 over 7, that is 1 half of a second. That current as a function of time has a final value of 9, 7, and an exponential that has an initial value of 1.5, a final value of 9 over 7, and a time constant of 1 half. This is the current in the inductor as a function of time. If we square that current, multiply that times L 3.5 Henry's and divide by 2, we get the energy in the inductor also as a function of time. You can simplify that expression or leave it like that. And that is a solution to question number 3. Thank you very much.